Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut. Today we're going to be doing a little unboxing and setup of the Ubiquiti. Uh, this is the USP plug. It is a smart plug, but it's not for like lights or anything like that. This is actually something that you plug your your modem into. And what it does is if your Ubiquiti um, uh, Dream Machine Pro, um, I think it works with a couple other things, detects that your internet is not working, this plug will automatically switch off and switch back on to reboot your uh, modem without you having to physically unplug it and plug it back into the wall. Or if your modem has one, you know, press a power button or reset button. Um, so this is kind of handy on the network um, if you're going to be, um, you know, away from a network and it's remotely managed or something like that. Um, you can have these do automatic reboots in, any, uh, in case your, you know, your modem's acting up or something like that. Um, and there is a physical button on here so you can still, you know, reboot it right there. Um, so that's all you get in the box. Nothing fancy. This is $19. Funny story on why I ordered this, how I did, is um, I'm actually waiting on my Galaxy S22 Ultra. And uh, Ubiquiti has pretty cheap um, priority overnight shipping with FedEx. It was $36 to get this priority overnighted uh, for the shipping alone plus the $19 for the plug. But I did that in hopes that my... Um, my S22 Ultra would come uh, with it because these priority overnight comes before noon because I need to be here to sign for it. Well, my phone's still in La La Land. Uh, I don't know where it is. It just says it was picked up on Sunday. Today's Tuesday. And it still hasn't had any other updates. So, uh, yeah, that plan didn't really work out. But I'll actually be home tomorrow. So hopefully it comes tomorrow and I can sign for it then. But I'm going to go get this plugged into my modem. And then I will show you guys the adoption process and the settings on um, the software side of things. All right, so right here um, we have the USP plug up at the top. It's pending adoption. Um, ignore this down here. I just updated my uh, network application. This is on a UDM Pro, um, but according to the page, it can be a Dream Machine Pro. Or, yeah, it's, it's a Dream Machine Pro, sorry. Uh, it can be a Dream Machine Pro with an access point, a Dream Machine, Dream Machine Special Edition with an access point, a Dream Machine, which is the one with the access point built in, or a security gateway with an access point. Um, so it's managed with the Unify network application version 5.12.45 or higher. So basically if you're running that and you have an access point, you can use this plug. Um, so we're going to click here and we're going to adopt the device. Device. Um, while it does that, um, so it does say it is for uh, cable modems, DSL routers, and optical network terminals. Um, so basically you're not going to want to put it on your, uh, you know, your home router because that's going to detect, you know, if the connection is down or not. So it's got to be before that. Um, so basically it's detecting if the incoming connection is down um, and it will reboot that by disconnecting the power um, for a short period of time. Um, so once this adopts, we're going to take a look and see what kind of settings we get. Um, so it is adopted right now. Um, it looks like there's an update available, but we'll do that in a second. Um, so let's see. We have outlet power, um, turn power on or off for this outlet. So if I flip this right here, it's just going to completely turn it off and leave it off. We're going to name it uh, modem um, USP plug. Not that I'm going to have another one, um, but just so I know what it is. And I'm going to give it a static IP here in a minute once it's done doing everything. Oops. Not what I wanted. There we go. Um, so you can do, you know, you can just turn it off, straight up turn it off, or you can do, <coughs> excuse me, you can do a power cycle, which will um, turn it off and then turn it on again um, without you having to toggle the switch right here. Um, insights, it looks like it does uh, show the power utilization. Um, it says zero watts right now. I don't know, maybe my modem's not pulling enough or whatnot, uh, but it looks like the max is uh, 2400 watts. Um, and then you can, if you turn this on right here, uh, power cycle your modem if the internet goes down when your modem is plugged into this outlet. So we're going to turn that on um, because my modem is plugged into that outlet. Um, and it is going to uh, update and it has updated. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply this update and um, see. I, wonder, I want to see if uh, applying an update is going to actually reboot my you know, turn the power on and off to the outlet. I hope it doesn't, because that would be kind of annoying that when it has a software update, it's going to uh, power cycle your modem, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, but that is the settings for it right there. That is what you can do with it. Um, everything else is pretty much just, you know, your regular Unify settings for firmware and stuff like that. 
I am going to give it a static IP. Um, just the next one up, which is going to be, looks like 0.8. Um, and then 1.1.1.8.8.8. And should be good there. Let me make sure that matches. Um, one of my other where is doo -doo, settings one dot one dot two five. Yep. Okay, we're all good there. Um, and it looks like it has updated and reconnected. Um, that's still not showing anything, so I don't know what's up with that. I guess theoretically you could use this as a, like a regular smart outlet for like a light or something like that if you wanted to, but it's not like your, your regular um, outlet where you can control it just with an app. Um, you can control this with the Unify app, um, but it's not made for quick and easy access to turn it on and off. It's made for network um, equipment to reboot it and stuff like that, like I said. Um, so now I can uh, remotely reboot my modem if I need to as long as I have an internet connection if I'm outside of the network or from inside the network I can just do it right here from my computer or like I said again from the app. So that is the USP plug from Ubiquity. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and as always have a great day.